concert, this digital concert with Drone. Our first Corona concert. There will be more to follow for sure. <sighs> Let's start with an old favorite named after one of the few Swedish harp players. Uh, harp, Gubbens Polska, the Polska of the old harp geyser. I guess I am the harp geyser these days, so it's sort of yeah, sort fit, fitting. fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, we hope you're applauding. We never know. You might be throwing tomatoes at your telephone. But I do see some hearts there and it's uh, really nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, if you do throw tomatoes at your telephone, it sort of comes back to bite you because it's your telephone. So please don't do that if you <laughs> don't like to get a new telephone. Um, you notice harpists, when we get very excited, we do this. You can tell when harpists get excited is when he or she is starting to do this. So, if you play the harp, do it with uh, a plumb, not too much, just just a little, because it's yeah. Well, that's a long story behind those. So, uh, thank you very much. That was the harp geysers polska. Polska is a type of Swedish dance that we could show you here, but we will not do that this time. Maybe in the future. Um, we will continue straight on with another tune, which yes. is well, another we are thinking, yeah. We were thinking that there is so much uh, talk about the coronavirus and so many numbers and facts and statistics that we might go into some mathematics right now. Some mathematics, yes. My second favorite subject after music, mathematics. It's actually pretty much the same. Well, the thing is that in Dalarna, in central Sweden, there is a tradition of playing this type of dance music, the polska, especially in a village called Buda, Buda, where they play very, very slowly. Uh, so slow, in fact, 
that it's uh, actually a bit hard to dance to. It's been slower and slower over the years. Um, you can listen to recordings and you can tell that the degree of slowness has increased. It's becoming slower and slower. So um, a friend who is a mathematician calculated that if this tempo of slowing down the dance continues in the same pace, about the year 2025, the Buddha Polska will come to a complete stop. That's a shame. Yeah. It so really is. We, we should play it while it's still possible. Yeah, we hope yeah. that won't take place, but we will do our best to keep the speed up a bit to not have it too slow. This is called uh, Buddha Polska, it's called Arl, Aller Are or Aller Bire So Rugli Som Nær Man Går På Val. It's not a very catchy title that will come up with something. Maybe the, the, oh, the Corona Polska, no, it's too nice a tune for that, so yeah. we'll, we'll think of something we'll else. One of the latest buzzwords is, of course, social distancing. 
And as I pointed out, we have been doing that in Sweden for about a thousand years as our way of life. Way before everyone else thought it was cool, we did it and took pride in it. Sometimes you see on the internet now memes with uh, things to help you accomplish your social distancing. And in that case, one instrument features more than others. And that is, of course, the bagpipe. Yes, the Swedish bagpipe. And it is known to keep the distance between the one who's playing and, uh, for instance, your neighbours. Earlier today, I actually started rehearsed a bit on my bagpipe, and my neighbour fired up his chainsaw. Maybe it was a hint. Maybe. Wow. Mm -hmm. You can always use some new firewood for the stove, <laughs> I guess, if you thought. Well, the thing is with the bagpipes that if you're familiar with the Scottish bagpipe, it makes more sense to have it more socially distancing because it's a, it's quite loud. The Swedish bagpipe is surprisingly yeah. mellow, actually. It's uh, sweet. It's sweet, and it, yeah. it's it's been called the the wee Swedish hangover bagpipe by the Scottish. Who should know? Um, so we're gonna play for you on the Swedish bagpipe and the harp, two old tunes again from Dalarna. It's an old uh, old herding tune, actually two old herding tunes. Uh, in key of D minor, in case you're interested. Two old favorites of ours. Val Tral och and Val Polska. <laughs>
Thank you. It's an energetic dance, both to dance it and to play it. Especially at the end where we do this little thing where you stop the tune in a typical Swedish fashion where the dancers, dancers are supposed to float a bit in the mid-air before they come crashing down again to the dance floor. It's always fun to, to watch how they do that. Yeah, thanks. Um, let's continue with one more tune for the bagpipe. I'm gonna try another instrument. I think I'm gonna play a bit on my favorite instrument, a medieval sitol, which we bought from a friend in America a few months ago, maybe a year ago probably. It's very fun to play it. It's not technically a Swedish folk instrument, but we do play medieval music as well. We thought about giving a concert in the same fashion, but with the medieval music, maybe next weekend we will post it in mm -hmm. case we decide to do that. I'm not sure we will play on this little thing, mm -hmm. um, but it works actually with Swedish music as well. Here comes another Polska from Uppland. Well, slang Polska after Mats Veslen. and the Swedish bagpipe. I realized that they have no chance as asking us questions right now about the instrument. So that is the next true. strange thing we bring up here, we should explain what it is. Yeah, like maybe the nyckelharpa. Yes. Or uh, it's a type of the clog. The clog fiddle. Yeah, yeah. if you thought the nyckelharpa was weird, and we will get back to the nyckelharpa. The clog fiddle is just bizarre. Imagine if you had a clog. And you turn it into a fiddle. Well, actually, so it's actually maybe not that bizarre. Um, it's literally a clog that yeah. has been converted into a fiddle. We have always believed in uh, uh, echo 
harvesting of instruments and of course um, Swedes are very big with recycling so when you are tired with your uh, stinky smelly ugly clogs why not turn them into a stinky smelly fiddle instead yeah. and give it to a bagpiper who's used to instruments having a certain odor yes <laughs> certain best instruments are the ones that come with a certain piquant characteristic known as odor um, and it's really hard to find an instrument that complements this instrument but we looked in our collection of instruments and we came up with one namely the juice harp or the jaws harp or the mouth harp uh, uh, you know this thing about uh, instruments names i like the german name maultrommel it's my favorite uh, name for this instrument the, the jaws harp Mundiga in Swedish, uh, but Maultrommel sounds much better, I think. Yeah. And we're going to play, uh, this is a typical, the clog fiddle is typical of the southern part of Sweden where we live. And we're going to play a tune that's actually from the village we live in, where we are right now, that is. So it's a waltz, uh, but it's called a bear tune. Bear waltz or yeah. something like that. It's time for some more harp. Let's We'll play first a short Posca. And then that will magically turn into a shottis.
Där satt den, as we say in Swedish. Yeah. Next, that was a chottis. Yes. And our time for this concert is almost up, but we're thinking we have one more tune to give you. Definitely. And um, before we wrap it up here with our last tune, we want to thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in to this concert. And uh, we do have some... Ooh, we have, we have a very old ancient technology that we discovered in old ruins from old Roman Empire. Apparently, many, many years ago, there was such a thing as, 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 uh, I'm not sure what you call it. I, I think it's compact disc. Wow, is this, the correct term. I remember when this was, wow. Well, I remember it as if it was <laughs> yesterday. Well, nowadays, these are all obsolete, of course, but happy news, you can get them online in digital format as MP3s and, and all kinds of wonderful things if you just follow the link on our website. Yes, uh, the Bandcamp site has, has a very generous offer today. They are sending all, uh, all the money directly to, uh, to the artists yes. today on, the, on March 20th. Uh, so if, uh, if you want to, you can check out all sorts of albums on Bandcamp, including ours. Um, and in the comments there are links and also uh, if you want to uh, pay for your ticket for this concert, which is completely voluntary. We're just so mm. happy that you joined us here tonight. It's like the old Swedish joke, you know, what's the cost? Well, just pay us whatever you think it's worth. Well, but surely you should have something. <laughs> well, um, so. Before we uh, uh, wrap it up, we also have to discuss this thing. Yeah, that's I true. Think. I promised to mention what this is. In case you don't know, in case you've never seen one before, uh, this is a nyckelharpa which means sort of a keyed harp, a harp with keys. Uh, it's a really... These are the keys. Yeah, there's the keys there. And you, you, instead of press, pushing down with your fingers, you press the keys and they shorten the strings. It's very complicated. Uh, I would say needlessly complicated, but that's how the Swedes do things. Uh, it's uh, basically, if you, if you mash together a guitar, a violin and a typewriter, you come up with a nickel harp. And of course, that joke only works if you're like us, a post. 40 years old, so you know what a typewriter is. Uh, uh, the same team as, as CDs, apparently, from the same generation. Yeah. So that's a nickel harpa and the harp. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll let you know when and if we will play some more concerts. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Anna. This is Eric. And together we're... Drom. And you have to say it like that. Drom. Like you're vomiting like Swedish... Aquavit. Vrdrom. Yes. So yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, we'll end with a, a, a couple of really obnoxious happy tunes. Um, hopeless optimism is the feeling sometimes described uh, of Swedish folk music. So here are two really hopeless, optimistic tunes. Thank you so much again. <laughs>
that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching and see you. Who knows when? Perhaps really soon. Bye-bye. Thanks so much.